Hi, welcome to Informatica Video KB presentation. This presentation is on possession emails on Linux and Unix. The agenda for today's presentation is as follows. What is R mail? How possession emails use R mail? How to test if R mail works outside of Power Center? Use using mail packages like XM, Postfix, uh, send, send mail to configure R mail. Some common issues faced by customers, some troubleshooting techniques, and some KB associated with them. So let's see what R mail is. R mail is a program that parses mail received via UUCP and parses the from and to fields that, that it received from Power Center and sends the process mail to send mail program. The send mail program, which is installed in user slash user slash sbin, does the actual MTA role. Below is an example of where these programs are found in your Unix and Linux servers and how they are linked. Please make sure that you have send mail and R mail programs installed and make sure that where that their path environments variables are also included are also included so that these emails work. Now let's see how Power Center uses R mail to send out, send out these emails. Now let's see how Power Center uses R mail. Uh, when the user configures a post session email task in your session, Power Center automatically creates these associated MIME encoding fields so that it can be sent out to the receiver via configured SMTP. Below, you see the example of a MIME encoding where you have the from, the subject, the MIME version, content type, and content description. Based on how and what you want to do with the email task, this, this body or description varies. Uh, you don't have to worry about these because uh, Power Center automatically generates these. Now, to test if R mail works outside of Power Center, Power Center, make sure that you copy the associated fields as mentioned below in a text file and run the command user bin r mail or give any email address that you wanted to receive and input the test email which contains the MIME encoding. Once the command is executed, you should be able to see the email in your inbox. Sometimes it does tend to go to spam folders if, if that's how your system security is set, but please make sure that you don't either check your spam folder or make sure that it doesn't enter your spam folder. If you just want to test if send mail program works, then you don't have to have a text file which with the MIME encoding. You can just have any any text file, even if it's empty, or you can just have a text file with this is a test message and run the send mail program, and you should be able to see the send file. In most uh, Linux and Unix distributions, you will find some some kind of packages which are used to configure and send emails. The most common packages include XM, send mail, and Postfix. The working of R mail, even when these packages are installed, are pretty much the same because most of these packages uh, have what what is called as a wrapper class, which is used to uh, wrap the R mail commands and send out the email. This is basically provided to have backward compatibility with R mail. When using these packages to send emails, it also causes some common issues that that we've seen. Uh, let's let's now discuss what these common issues are and how to troubleshoot these. Uh, the, the the most common issue is not being able to send emails outside uh, outside their own local domain or to a personal email ID. Uh, the, the issue is most likely caused because it is not most likely it is caused because what happens is that your your sendmail.mc configuration file needs to be needs to be modified by system admin who has the root privileges to add a relay server of of let's say the domain that you want to be able to send out the message. If it's Gmail, then it's got to be something like smtp.gmail. So unless that is rough, that that change is made in your sendmail.mc file, you're not going to be able to send out emails to that domain. The other common issue that we face, uh, we've we've seen customers face is when you see attachments uh, to the to the email being appearing in the body of the email. Uh, the most likely cause of this issue is because the MIME encoding, which I discussed earlier, has been corrupted for some reason. And whenever this encoding is corrupted, what happens is the subject of the attachment tends to get appended in line to the body of the subject. So the, so the corruption is most likely caused by mail packages. Even though they provide these wrapper functions, they do tend to cause some issues at times. For example, a common issue that is faced is when you use an XM package, the from field does not include a colon, whereas it should not include a colon, and that tends to append all the contents in line. 
Uh, now let's discuss some common troubleshooting techniques to, to, to troubleshoot these problems. The first thing that you'll have to check is your mail queue. Uh, make it, please note that you also need admin privileges to check this. When an email is sent out by Power Center or the Linux server, it first reaches the mail queue. So if you see the uh, the mail still stuck in your mail queue, then there is something wrong with either the, the configuration file or the MyMe encoding. Also check the slash var slash log slash mail log for any errors present. The, most generally, the mail log will have a good description of what the error is. If you don't see errors in both these places, then uh, please check. Then the most likely scenario is that the email has been sent out on the network to the remote email server, and for some reason, either on the network or the email remote email server side, the email is being rejected. In this case, what you can do is use TCP dump or any any other uh, wire cap. I mean wire. Uh, wire capture tools to analyze the traffic and troubleshoot further. The following are some KB articles which, uh, which illustrate what these issues are and how to troubleshoot them in further. You can also check out the KB section of Informatica to get a little more, lot more knowledge on what these issues are and how to troubleshoot them. 